budget plans was released earlier this year by the City of York Council to help deal with the central government's grants. This meant that due to spending pressures, the council cuts back on road sweepers. And since this came into action, local residents of Bishop Thorpe Road have noticed the consequences and decided to do something about it. Someone's got to do it. It was just piling up and up and, um, you know, it just looks a lot better. We've just been here about an hour and it looks great already. It starts looking unkempt and uncared for and then people stop caring as much and then it just builds and builds. So it's, it's taking that tipping point back again so that people start looking around and seeing that it is a beautiful area. People have worked really hard, hard on the gardens around here and keeping them clean and tidy so that people can sit and enjoy them on the benches that have been put there in the sunshine. We got chatting with the Roundtree Park litter pickers and they told us how we, we can sign up to the council to be an official volunteer. So we meet once a month and we called ourselves Bishy Road Scrubbers. I love my area and I'm really proud of what people have achieved, Bishy Road traders have achieved, to improve the atmosphere and the community feel of the area so it's just nice to be able to give something back really and in, interesting you know as we've been doing it so many people have walked past they're obviously on their way to doing things but they've all stopped and said thank you so i think the community just likes to look after itself despite the cutbacks a local ward councillor has been helping out to keep the area clean and tidy a lot of the quarterly services disappeared altogether and what's happened certainly in Micklegate Ward over the last um, 12 months or so is that there's been a very noticeable build-up of uh, just general debris and, and it, you know, just that sort of low level of, of um, litter that, that kind of builds up because people are not coming around regularly to sweep it away. I'm, I'm really happy to come and support the uh, local group here and I think it's a really positive thing that they're doing, getting out and getting involved in, in the community. You know, this is a thing that's going to happen every month now. We're, we're just coming along, giving an hour of our time and actually if there's 10 or 15 people giving an hour of their time, that's a quite a considerable amount of, of uh, cleaning up that gets done. I think that the, the street party itself will, will come along, will uh, um, tidy up after themselves and, and so in a way will be self-contained. This is much more about just an ongoing regular trying to make ourselves um, you know do that little bit to kind of replace some of the services that were there. The team have been busy making the area look presentable ahead of this weekend street party which is set to bring the local community together. Rebecca Quarmby, that's TV.